In this video, I'm going to highlight how to use custom API models with EDEM and HyperStudy. The aim is to calibrate a model. In this case, the Archidware model, which has been written to use polyhedral particles. And the Archidware model, in this instance, it's a custom API where you have the inputs from a preference file, a text file. In this case, we're looking at the wear on the deflector plate. As we can see here, the particles are impacting the deflector plate over a time period of one second. If I hide the particles here and go to the geometry deflector, we can see the amount of wear that's been run in this case. And if we want to calibrate, for example, we may know that we get 0.1 millimeters of wear per second, or a similar value. So in this case, I'm exporting a CSV file with the, the maximum amount of wear per mesh cell. And that will be exported every time period. Typically in HyperStudy, we can go to add a model, EDEM model, choose our EDEM simulation file, and import a series of parameters. And these parameters variables we can vary using HyperStudy to calibrate our materials or to optimize our equipment. In this instance, though, given that we use a custom API, we have to parameterize the API file first. So I'll remove DDEM, add the parameterized file, which is the preference file. And it gives a warning that we need to parameterize this first. Just interested in the deflector, so I'll create a new variable for the deflector. Provide it a, a label and a variable name. Set the upper and lower bounds. In this case, I know that the upper bound is, uh, the, the nominal value is greater than what I wanted, so I can reduce this and set the, the value I had at the upper bound. We want to set the execution script as templex in this case, and there's some um, information on how to use that in the help. And I also want to add a condition, just, just one condition, that um, we can ignore the dependencies of this as it doesn't output any any results. So if import the variables, we can go to the, the inputs and see the, the input variables there. And executing the, the model, we've written out a new value for our deflector as a new text file. So now we can add a new model, the EDEM model, the second one in the list, choose our DEM file. We don't need to import any variables in this case, but we do need to add the additional resources. So I'm going to add the EDEM simulation folder. I'm going to add the associated input files, so the P, the DFG and so on. Add in the, the custom API model, the DLL and the CUDA, but I'm not going to add the text file just yet. We want to set these to copy, as we'll copy them for each simulation. Then we want the text file. I'll add this via the resource assistant, choosing the parameterize or the, the file from the, the existing run. You can see here it's added it as a link. You can see the link symbol in the, the text file, so it means that each different file will be, be copied along with each simulation. We go to next and run the definition again. This time it will write the text file, then it will write the EDEM files and run the EDEM simulation. If we check this in the Explorer window, we can see the text file which has been written out. And that EDEM uses the same file and same, same values when running the custom model. So EDEM is running at the moment. Simulation has finished. And then we need to set up the, the post-processing that I just, just 
check it and see that it's output the CSV file. So we'll set our output response choose the output CSV file, you can see it's defaulted to that already as so it's the where CSV. I'm going to choose to find time of one second. Um looking at five or six um significant figures in this instance. And this is variable DS underscore one. So if we add this in Evaluate it, we can see it's picked up the amount of wear that's been um, shown in this instance. Then we can run our, our usual hyper study DOEs and optimizations. So setting up a DOE from the, the previous setup. I don't need to rerun any of the, um, the test models in this instance. But let's, let's run a quick, um, MELS run. You can see it's says set up four runs. I'm going to set it to run one job at a time as I've just got one GPU card on this machine. And you can see it's going to run the deflector with these different um, different values. We can check the the DOE. It's set up the, the initial file and the EDEM is also running the same same values for the deflector. So it's going to run all these cases and I'll jump to the finish. And we can see the different responses of the the deflectors, so the different amounts of wear with the different values. And looking at the, the scatter plot here we can see it's a linear relationship. So we, we don't necessarily need to do any further analysis in this instance. We'd be able to, to find our amount of wear required based off the, the input values. However, other API models may have more complex responses and you can customize and vary them in the same way.